All right, welcome back, Coastal 25 folks. Professor Almeida here. Happy Tuesday, everyone. This is the Tuesday edition because I want to get this video out going into Thanksgiving break, and I want to talk to you about our final two weeks together, weeks 11 and 12, which will both open on Monday, December 2nd. So we'll get into all of that starting right now. Let's just get right into it here. But first... I do want to revisit weeks 9 and 10, particularly with the G-Metrics MOS practice. I know that some of you have had a chance to start already, but you don't want to leave things for the last minute. If you haven't done so, get into G-Metrics and start practicing. Your score results for skill review 1 and 2 are required. And I want to take a moment to show you the assignments themselves. So here's skill review one. And the reason why I want to show you this is because some folks are not following directions. Okay. Skill review one and practice exam one are not the same exam. Okay. So take a look through the instructions here and you'll see for skill review one, you're asked to take the Access Expert 2019 Skill Review 1 exam found under quizzes in training mode. So I happen to have G-Metrics open here. And let me show you where to find your exams. And this is, of course, assuming that you have created an account in G-Metrics, you've redeemed your access code, and you have downloaded the G-Metrics SMS software onto your system. So I'm going to scroll down and you're going to find access under Microsoft Office 2019. And the reason for this is because Microsoft and Certiport have not released a recent version of the Moss Access Expert. So we are still on 2019 here. And if you click on this, and if you scroll down, you'll see under quizzes, here's skill review one, and here's skill review two. And if you click on start, you'll see that you have 30 questions. Now, normally, just like the MOS, you'll have 50 minutes to complete the exam and passing is 700, but you want to switch over to training mode for this one. So this is skill review one. And again, you'll find it under the quizzes category. See, here's quizzes, here's skill review one, and here's skill review two. Now, as for practice exam one, we'll get to that in a moment. Okay, so be sure to read the instructions carefully and more importantly, make sure that you are turning in the correct score results. Now, I've also provided an example for guidance on what you should be turning in. So take a moment to look at your score report. You'll see an example here. Your name should be clearly displayed. The exam and mode should be clearly displayed along with the score. Now to save your score reports, and I happen to have skill review one here, you'll see this three dot menu, click on score report. And here it is. So you'll see that I've gone through, I've completed skill review one. As a matter of fact, I was testing this in the COS computer lab yesterday. I know there was at least one Coastal 25 student there uh, watching me do this. So to save your score report, you're gonna click on this printer icon, and then you're going to choose save as PDF as your printer. This is the same whether you're using Edge or Chrome, and then you're going to choose save. You'll be asked where to save this score report. And again, do take a moment to check, make sure your name is there, make sure it's the correct exam. In this case, skill review one training, you can see your score. And I need to see all of this, by the way, okay? So make sure that you are saving this as, saving this as a PDF. Um, if you try to take a screenshot or a picture from your phone, this is not the same thing. And there's a very good chance that I'm not going to accept your submission. Okay, so make sure that you follow the instructions carefully and be sure to ask questions and don't wait until the last minute. Okay, so that is it as far as skill review one and two are concerned. So let's go back to modules here and talk about how we're going to close out this course. So for week 11, starting on Monday, December 2nd, 
Chapter 10 is on customizing access and using OneDrive and Office Online. And you'll see for Chapter 10, you only have the training sim, the sim book, right? That's all you have. And then you have one last G metrics exam, and that is practice exam one. Taking a look at the instructions here, you will take the Access Expert 2019 Practice Exam 1 found under Practice Exams in either Training or Testing Mode. So I am giving you the option here, but if you do pass your exam with a score of 850 or better in Testing Mode, I will award an additional 10 extra points for this assignment. So if we go back to G-Metrics here, under Practice Exams, you'll see here's Practice Exam 1 and you can choose between training or testing. I would start with training mode just so you get a feel for the exam. And then if you want to go for those bonus points, you can attempt the exam in testing mode. Now, some of you who tried to turn in practice exam one under skill review one, now this is where you go to turn in the assignment. Okay, so let's make sure that we are turning in the correct exam results here. And if you don't follow directions, and you know the deadline passes it's going to be zero out of a hundred okay so again please double check what you're submitting and by the way i do grade the submissions as they come in so if there is an issue check the assignment comments but if you do pass uh, with a 700 or better you'll earn the full credit on the assignment so that is practice exam one and if I go back, go back and find my tab here. So that's practice exam one. And then for week 12, and by the way, this will also be open on Monday, December 2nd, you'll have your capstone project. This capstone project is worth 20% of your grade and it is larger in scope than the projects you have been working on. Okay, so think of this as a cumulative independent project. Now, one last thing concerning the Moss Access Expert. I did post an announcement on how to take this exam, but I do have a special deal for all of you. If you do go on to pass the Moss Access Expert 2019 certification before the end of the course, I will replace your capstone grade and your single lowest scoring independent project. So think about it and do check that announcement a while back as a matter of fact let me go find it right now so it's this announcement right here from november 20th information about the moss access expert 2019 so check out this announcement for more information on how to take the exam and here's something to also think about this exam normally costs 120 dollars per attempt plus one retake and this is on the house okay so that is basically it for the remainder of cosa 25 and with that i wish you the best of luck with your g metrics moss prep the best of luck on your final chapters your capstone project and if you go on to take the moss i do wish all of you well in your future endeavors have a happy thanksgiving enjoy your break let's finish this course strong i will be checking in with all of you periodically as we start to wrap things up and with that take care of yourselves out there and i hope to see you around thanks for watching